Hi everybody. Hope you all have had a good start to your week. Uh, what I'm going to do tonight is just a quick uh, update on the on my progress on the Mutt and Jeff Buddy build uh, that I'm doing with uh, Craig over at Mutt Modeler. Um, before I do that, though, I want to do just a quick little uh, shout out mail call. Um, to uh, Papa Dan in the mail the other day. I got this uh, token, uh, this wooden token uh, with his uh, his shop logo on it. Um, he's been sending these out to a lot of the a lot of the members and so or a lot of the, the members of the community. So uh, really appreciate uh, re uh, the the token, Papa Dan, and the the letter that you sent. Uh, thank you very much. Very much appreciated. Uh, and so uh, this will probably be displayed up on on one of my shelves here on uh, right at my bench. So thank you so much for that. Okay, on to the buddy build. Um, as you probably know, uh, if you've watched Craig's videos and any of my other videos on this buddy build, we're doing the Ravel VW T1 camper. Um, and so I haven't gotten a lot a lot more done since the last time I did an update. I already showed this. Uh, the engine uh, is done and in. Got the exhaust system in. I got our, our uh, front and rear suspension done and did a little detail work on the bottom. Still thinking I may do a little bit more uh, detail work on the bottom. But uh, there's that. That's that's what I've shown before. And so uh, what I've gotten done since then is we started working on the the front of the interior. We got our our seats painted, uh, the the front seats. Um, just used some Tamiya light gray for that uh, for the the um, this part of the seat, and then a. Just a darker gray uh, around the uh, the edges there. Um, got some. This is rubber black on the bottom here, and we've got our uh, gas pedal, brake, and clutch uh, put in. Uh, we've got our two. Uh, got our gear shift and what I assume is probably an emergency brake there. Uh, so there's that. And then the only other part I've gotten done is I've gotten the the floor in uh, on in the back, and so um, that needs to be glued down a little bit, a little bit better. But uh, there's that. And then today I started working on some of the I don't know if you'd call it cabinet work or some of the uh, the back part. Um, these and now these are not these are not done, uh, but I did uh, start off giving just a, a few of the the parts a coat of this is a Tamiya or not Tamiya it's Testers um, wood uh, color uh, it's uh, the enamel out of the bottle uh, it's this I uh, just airbrushed that on um, got a and there's one of the one of the sides and then this one goes on the top of this uh, of this it'll go across the top actually it no I think it goes like that across the top Oops, see it's got a door on the top for storage um, so uh, and again like I said these are not done this one needs a little bit more it was getting dark outside so I couldn't see anymore so I had to quit but um, what I'm, what I plan to do is try once I get this, uh, you know, get enough coats of the of the wood color on here, and I've got some other pieces to do. Um, I'm gonna seal that, and then uh, go over it with uh, some oil paints uh, to try to give it kind of a wood grain, a wood grain look. Uh, and so um, that's the. <clears throat> That's the plan. If you look at the at the box art here, you can see that uh, 
the the par those parts are I mean they are they're wood or at least uh, maybe veneer um, and so uh, I'm gonna try to shoot for something kind of like that uh, so that's what we're that's what we're aiming for anyway so that's pretty much all uh, this kit has a lot of parts to it and it, it's just uh, you just have to go little by little so um, that is what we have gotten done since the last update hope you all are having a great week so far and hope you have a great rest of your week and we will see you on the next update y'all take care bye